How can you install Grammarly for Microsoft PowerPoint or your other Microsoft Office 365 apps? Hi there, my name is Brian Collins. Welcome to the Become a Writer Today channel. In this short video, I'm going to walk through exactly how you can set up Grammarly for Word, PowerPoint or your other Microsoft Office apps. And I will also explain what you can do if you want to use Grammarly across any app on your computer, including the Microsoft Office 365 suite. Hope you enjoy the content. If you do, hit thumbs up. And to get more videos like this, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Now, some prerequisites. First thing you're going to need is an active Microsoft Office 365 subscription. That's because it'll enable you to download Microsoft Office 365 apps like Word, PowerPoint, and Outlook to your Mac or Windows computer. Secondly, you're going to need a Grammarly account. If you have a free account or a premium account, the steps are the same. However, the premium account has some additional tools that you can use. If you'd like a discount, I do have a deal, which I'll put in the link below this video. And that is an affiliate link, meaning I earn a small commission. Let me show you how to set up Grammarly for Microsoft PowerPoint. On ahead and opened up Microsoft PowerPoint. Now, previously you would install an add-on or a plugin via Microsoft Office or PowerPoint. These days, the best way to do this is to simply install the Grammarly desktop app for Mac or Windows. And the good news is it's pretty easy to do. All you have to do is visit grammarly.com forward slash desktop and then visit get Grammarly or click on this green button that will appear on screen. Then it'll prompt you to set up an account. And then once you've done this, it'll give you a file for your Mac or Windows computer and you'll simply install it like any other writing application. Once you've installed Grammarly for Mac or Windows, you'll see a pop up like this. Just simply click on got it and Grammarly will run in the background. So once you've done that, you can check your text for spelling and grammar issues as you write in PowerPoint. So you can see here it's underlined two potential issues that I may want to review in this particular PowerPoint presentation. The other thing that you can do is look for the Grammarly uh, icon. You can also look for the Grammarly icon when you're writing inside of PowerPoint. It'll either be a G logo or a numbered icon that appears like this on screen that's floating around. And when you click on this, it'll explain how many errors are inside of your work to review. Now I know it can be distracting to have all these errors pop up when you're trying to prepare or write a presentation. So if you find them distracting, simply click on the icon or the number, select the cog and turn it off PowerPoint for 30 minutes so you can complete your presentation. Then when you're ready, you can turn it back on and fix any grammar and other issues. If you wanna get more shorts like this, don't forget to subscribe to the channel.